Right, so here's another quick sketch I did of the guy. Um, to add a little more detail to his face and stuff to kind of get an idea of what I wanted him to look like uh, overall, so, and like how his hands would fit on his head and everything. I also did some, you know, pencil sketches because uh, really nothing beats, you know, pencil sketching, so just pencils have a certain feel to them, you know, and so I bust out my pencils once in a while and, you know, do some sketching with that. All right, so continuing on with uh, character designing. So one thing you do is, like, I have this other idea for a character. Um, at first I thought, like, Spider-Woman. So she has, like, you know, I was thinking this kind of spider-like body, you know, like, so. And then, you know, with the female figure on top of that. And this is what I was thinking, you know, at first. And so, you know, that's, like, really, I can probably only make a sense of what that is right now. But sometimes you start like that, and it starts making sense as you start sketching over it more and more. But you want to start with something. You need something on the page. Without something to visualize, I mean, you might just start scribbling, you know, and just making weird shapes, and then, like, start to try to visualize something out of that. Um, I have no idea what I just did. I don't know what the hell this is. But you can kind of maybe start visualizing based on that scribble, and you can start thinking of things. Um, you know, like, you can start kind of seeing little shapes and it you know it takes you know really hmm maybe this is like another arm back there just trying to think like mm, this is kind of strange looking but maybe he has like this arm that comes down right here almost like insectoid leg joint thing going on with like claws or something and you start kind of just visualizing little things Maybe he has another one of his legs back over there. And, and with the, in this stage here, you're only just trying to think of, you know, just try to, you're not trying to draw anything in particular. You're just kind of making shapes right now. And as you're making shapes, you might start to see something, you know, within those shapes. Maybe he has another leg back there. And so I can kind of start to see this weird kind of spider creature in that. And then I can start building on top of that. And, you know, so it's just to get your imagination flowing. Don't worry. No one's going to see this but you. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's say you, you want to kind of imagine mixing characters. Like what I end up deciding to mix was like a woman and an eel. Eel woman, but electric eel woman. But let's say, I don't know, something big. Let's start with something kind of big. So you start with like this kind of big shape here, this kind of big circle shape. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe, you know, a rhinoceros kind of shape, you know. And so we have this kind of shape like that. So I could start with something like that. And I'm thinking maybe it comes up. So I'm starting to imagine, you know, what if, I, what if you had like a centaur maybe? But instead of uh, the horse, there's like this big weird rhino thing. And you can start with that, and then you can slowly build on that. And I'm going to go to Transform and uh, Free Transform and, and shrink this down to more of a thumbnail so I have more room because I don't want to get too big. And uh, I'm thinking he has like these this, like big neck. He has his face right here, his head. Maybe he has like this wild hair that comes out like tentacles. I'll have him coming down behind us back there, maybe. So he has this huge, like, neck that comes out to his shoulders, maybe. That doesn't, you know, doesn't want to even look human. And then you want to think, maybe I don't even want human at all. Maybe I'm going for something totally alien here. And, uh... So it's, I'm going to come down with, like, an arm here or something kind of come up like that to get maybe his, his hand. So I'm just dropping in, you know, basic shapes right now, just trying to think what I want this thing to look like. So you can see it starts taking shape, and I'm starting to see something here is happening, and maybe by the time I'm done, uh, you know, this is all just brainstorming, and by the time I'm done, I don't even have anything that resembles rhinoceros centaur dude. Maybe I have something totally alien that comes from it. 
Um, so I'm just kind of imagining where, you know, muscles might fall into play here. And then maybe he has like these huge, you know, like thing. I don't know. I don't even know how rhinoceros' legs look. So I'm just going to kind of do something I think that looks kind of wild. So it's kind of like centaur dude, and then, you know, the back leg would be back there somewhere. It kind of fading into the background. So, you know, it'd be like, then you'd have another one that would be like in there somewhere. Wouldn't really be able to see that one either. All right, so anyway, as you can see, you can start developing something. And I could go with more of a more of a rhino body, you know. Maybe just go look at some rhinos before I start to kind of get to kind of get some inspiration, and then kind of move from that onto something. I'm thinking his maybe he can have muscles that come down, or maybe he can have some weird rib cage or something, you know. Maybe his rib cage is like he has like this opening right here that comes like this, and it's like just like teeth or something like that that'd be wild like it's like a weird mouth or something that opens it's like body it opens up here so um, you want and also you want to think whenever you're adding things to your character as you're as you're moving him along you want to try to think of well what how would this apply to the creature like why, why would he have this part right here you know what would this exist for and I'm thinking, well, um, if, you know, another creature came to attack him, this mouth can open up. You know, it would close and just have a line right here or whatever. Maybe I should drop it down a little bit lower to where it starts down here or something and gets really wide like like that, you know. Comes out like that and gets really wide. So anyway, so it'd be like that. And um, so if, if someone is attacking him, he can open up this mouth, you know, and bite that creature or whatever he can like ram he can like run and ram into a creature Ooh, maybe he has like a double mouth like that inner mouth and this bigger outer mouth and so he could uh just run right right into somebody and uh, that that allows him more attacking range here and um so that it just kind of looks cool but you also want to think how it makes sense as a character as well but yeah so i'm thinking uh just kind of live trying to think of stuff um i could go with something like this actually and, and then and then as I start going to the more character design and doing the details I would come up with different ideas like I'm thinking he has like octopus tentacles coming out of his head instead of hair that would be pretty wild looking um, yeah so but if he has octopuses hair thing coming out of his style that, that would kind of make him partly aquatic I would think and so then maybe he has little fins little places here and there and uh little gills or something, you know, whatever. You know, maybe he has little gills like he can breathe when he's when his feet are underwater to get more oxygen into his body. But also it can just look cool. Uh, but yeah, he could have little fins and stuff. Anyway, so that, and then once you have that stage, you can, you know, go in and start adding more details. And you can also blow this up, you know, but I wouldn't blow it up to 300 DPI yet. I would keep it at 700 DPI, 72 DPI like I have it or resolution. And um, go in and wait me with a smaller brush and just start adding some some details on top of this sketch that I can start, you know, trying to think of different things I might want. I'm thinking that he has this, you know, this octopus kind of thing. So coming down like that and uh, maybe it, twist right here and so I'm thinking I don't know I'm not sure exactly how no because it's the underside so anyway so you have to just think of different things as you're sketching I'm running out of time so I don't know if I'm going to end up doing another part to this or not maybe I will just to kind of show how we can come up with some cool character from from that quick uh, exercise Okay, so I'll go ahead. Um, check out the link there. It's uh, digitalcanvas.net16.net. It's in the description. And that's my uh, free site. A bunch of free videos on there. I'm going to keep updating, adding more videos as time goes on. So uh, just keep checking back. And uh, there's like over three hours of videos now. Thanks.